fitness enthusiasts, thank you for joining us today. We're diving into a beginner-friendly session focusing on leg and abs workouts. These exercises are key in building a strong foundation for your fitness journey. They'll help you gain strength, improve balance, and enhance overall performance. We invite you to join us, step-by-step, rep-by-rep, on this journey towards a healthier, stronger you. So grab your dumbbells, let's get started. And hey, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fitness content. Let's fire up those quads with some dumbbell squats and lunges. These exercises are key to strengthening and sculpting your quadriceps, the muscles at the front of your thighs. So grab those dumbbells and let's get started. First up, we have the dumbbell squat. This exercise is a fantastic way to target your quads, but it also engages your glutes, hamstrings, and core. Start by standing straight with your feet shoulder width apart. Hold a dumbbell in each hand with your arms fully extended and your palms facing your torso. Now, lower your body as if you're sitting back into a chair, keeping your chest upright and your knees over your toes. Go as low as you can without compromising your form, then push through your heels to stand back up. That's one rep. Aim to do three sets of 12 reps each. Now let's move on to the dumbbell lunges. Lunges are another excellent quad burning exercise, and they also work your glutes, hamstrings, and core. Begin by standing straight, holding a dumbbell in each hand. Take a big step forward with one foot, then lower your body until your front knee is at a 90 degree angle and your back knee is hovering just off the ground. Push through your front heel to return to standing. That's one rep. Repeat this on the other side. Again, aim for three sets of 12 reps on each leg. During both of these exercises, it's crucial to maintain proper form. Keep your chest upright, your core engaged, and your gaze forward. This will help prevent injury and ensure you're getting the most out of each movement. And remember, it's not about how heavy the weights are, it's about the control and precision of your movements. So that's the dumbbell squat and lunges. Incorporate these exercises into your leg day routine and you'll soon see the difference in your quads. Remember, it's all about the form and control, not the weights you're lifting. Next up, we're targeting those glutes and hamstrings with Romanian deadlifts and hip thrusts. Let's dive right into the Romanian deadlift, an absolute game changer for those hamstrings and glutes. This exercise requires a keen focus on form to reap its full benefits, so let's get it right. Stand tall, feet hip width apart, and hold your weights in front of your thighs. Now, hinge at the hips, keeping your spine neutral, and lower your weights along your shins. Feel the stretch in your hamstrings? That's the sweet spot. Now, squeeze your glutes and straighten back up. Remember, this isn't a race. Take your time and focus on the muscle contraction. Aim for three sets of eight to 12 reps. Now, let's hit the glutes with some hip thrusts. For this exercise, you'll need a bench or a sturdy platform. Start by sitting on the ground with your back against the bench. Position your weights across your hips. Now, plant your feet firmly on the ground, hip width apart. Ready? Push through your heels, lifting your hips until they align with your knees and shoulders. Pause for a moment at the top, really squeeze those glutes, then slowly lower down. That's one rep. Aim for three sets of 8 to 12 reps for this one as well. Both Romanian deadlifts and hip thrusts are essential for shaping and strengthening your glutes and hamstrings. They're not just about aesthetics though. These exercises contribute to your overall lower body strength, improving your performance in other exercises and daily activities. They're also fantastic for improving your balance and stability. Remember, consistency is key. Showing up is half the battle. So even on those days when you're not feeling it, just show up. Do what you can. Every rep, every set, every workout counts. It adds up. And before you know it, you'll see progress. You'll feel stronger. You'll become unstoppable. These exercises are a powerhouse for your lower body strength. Keep pushing. Scene script. Finally, we're going to sculpt those calves and abs with calf raises, flutter kicks, and a plank. Let's kick things off with calf raises. This exercise is a staple in any solid leg workout routine. It targets the calves, specifically the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles. These are the muscles that give your lower legs their shape and strength. So here's how you do it. Stand up straight, push through the balls of both feet to raise your body upward. Keep your abdominal muscles pulled in so that you move straight upward, not forward or backward. Then slowly lower yourself back to the ground. Repeat this for three sets of 10 to 15 reps. Now. Let's move on to flutter kicks. These target your lower abs and hip flexors, making them a fantastic addition to any ab workout. Lie flat on your back on the floor or a mat. Extend your legs fully out with a slight bend in your knees. 
Lift your heels about six inches off the floor. Make small rapid up and down scissor-like motions with your legs. The key here is to keep your abs constantly contracted throughout the exercise. Aim for three sets of 20 to 30 reps. Finally, we'll wrap up with the plank. This exercise is a powerhouse, working not just your abs, but your entire core, including your back and glutes. Start by getting into a push-up position, then bend your elbows to lower yourself and rest your weight on your forearms instead of your hands. Your body should form a straight line from your shoulders to your ankles. Hold this position, keeping your core engaged and your hips lifted. Try to hold for 30 seconds to one minute and repeat for three sets. These exercises are essential for a well-rounded leg and abs workout. The calf raises will sculpt and strengthen your lower legs. The flutter kicks are perfect for carving out those lower abs, and the plank is an all-around great exercise for overall core strength and stability. Remember, it's not about how many reps you can do or how long you can hold a plank, it's about performing each exercise correctly and safely. Quality over quantity, always. And don't forget to breathe. Proper breathing helps you better execute each movement and supplies your muscles with the oxygen they need. And there you have it. Calf raises for strong sculpted calves, flutter kicks for those lower abs, and planks for a solid, stable core. Each of these exercises brings something unique to the table, and they all work together to give you a comprehensive leg and abs workout. You've done great today. Just remember, as with any fitness journey, consistency is the key to results. Keep at it, and you'll see progress in no time. You're stronger than you think, and every step you take is a step towards a healthier, fitter you. So keep pushing, keep sweating, and keep reaching for those goals. You've done great today. Remember, consistency is the key to results. That's a wrap for today's leg and abs workout. Great job. We've covered a lot of ground today, so let's take a moment to revisit the key points. We kick things off with quads, focusing on dumbbell squats and lunges. These exercises are all about strengthening your thighs and improving overall leg stability. Aim for three to four sets of eight to 12 reps, and remember to keep that form tight. Next up, we moved on to the glutes and hamstrings with the Romanian deadlift and hip thrusts. These exercises target your posterior chain, crucial for power and everyday movement. Again, we're looking at three to four sets with eight to 12 reps. And last but not least, we hit those calves and abs with calf raises, flutter kicks and planks. These exercises are your secret weapon for defined calves and a strong core. For these, we're upping the ante to four to five sets of 15 to 20 reps. But remember, it's not just about the number of reps and sets, it's also about control and form. So, take your time, focus on your breathing, and make sure you're feeling it in the right places. And there you have it, a complete beginner's guide to a leg and abs day. Consistency is key, so stick with it and you'll start noticing improvements in no time. Remember to stay hydrated, eat well and rest. See you in the next video, warriors!